Thanks for staying with us. So sometimes it's heartbreaking that our culture is gradually going into extinction. Greeting culture, kneeling down, prostrating, prostrating for elders, even our dress sense is now taking over. Now, joining us on the show is an important personality. His Imperial Majesty, Oba Dr. Frederick, Enitolo Runda, Oba Teru, Akinruton, the paramount ruler and prescribed authority, Ulubu of Uboland, Elijah Ondo State, and the, Niger and the chairman of Ondo State Council of Others. Welcome, sir. Kabi, welcome to well. the show. Good to have you on the show, sir. Thank you. Um, so, we will definitely be talking today more about culture. And um, growing up as young children, we used to revere the office of the KBC. It was such a, it was an office that comes with a lot of sacredness. Um, um, and there was that fear that ah, you can't go to KBC, that you can't say that in front of KBC. Today, all that seems to have been somewhat demystified. <clears throat> and and we, we wonder, where is the role of that cultural sacredness today? Has it been totally um, rubbed off by, by civilization? Or do, would you say that it, there's still that essence in the role of the KBC? Uh, I want to thank you sincerely for this a very brilliant question. What you said now about the Oba, you say it's sitting up to tomorrow. But the problem we had now was that uh, the, some of the people that uh, calling themselves the Oba, they don't have the blue blood. Mm. Mm. Come see, the blue blood is not there. Otherwise, the dignity, the respect, the culture is existing up to tomorrow. For instance, in my domain, before you can see me, you need to pass through some chief. They have to, you know, look at you, do some ritual thing to you before you come to me. Okay. And uh, how to greet Oba, you know, not everybody knows how to greet Oba. Mm -hmm. You can't greet Oba like a new normal person. Kabiesio, 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 Kado Kwelo, Kibato Kwelese. You have to come with something, if it is cola or not cola, mm -hmm. or bitter cola. You have to put it somewhere before it come out to come and say, in our play, they said, when you are coming to Greek Toba, you have to come with, a, what they call it a tea, something that has to back it. Mm. That's cola, some sort of, you know, uh, things like money, like everything, mm. you know, in your body, say something, mm. and when you have to put down you don't know how to carry it if you are going. It's the system. Mm. And uh, the moment people know that they get wind of it that uh, this thing is a system, you will be given respect. Some of, uh, some of the other, which is not half uh, what they call it, the blue blood, they go, you know, other doesn't visit people. Some people the Oba will carry their work and see their, you know, staff to some Oba after, you know, past 90 hours, go and give them chieftaincy. It's wrong. Mm. That's why some of the people are looking down on some, mm. some of the others. Because it's not it's about done mm. those days. Whether you are a billionaire, you are whatever you call yourself, you have to go to Oba House. If you want to Oba will look at you, whether you, are, you, you, you have that, that integrity to give mm. you chieftaincy. Mm. Before they give you, not that somebody because you have money. Some people may have money, they don't have that integrity to right. have that yeah. chieftaincy. That mm. was the thing that happened these days. <coughs> We have to talk to ourselves. Mm. The respect is still there. Mm. The dignity is still there. The culture is still there for the others. Some people are of the opinion that mm. the reason it might have been a bit um, the culture, because generally the culture is wearing, we're not, we're not extolling the culture the yes. way we should. Yes. And that might also be what is rubbing off on the others. That's one. But um, another perspective is that we don't have a constitutional rule for the others. Others are appointed and the appointment is supported by the governor they earn from the govern the governor the government in power in the state so why they, let's just face the governor then rather than face the obas what's your say on constitutionalizing a rule for the obas knowing they are the closest to the citizenry 
And now, what you just asked me now, you are correct. It's a very important you know, question. A lot of people now, I told you about blue blood. Mm. If you don't have blue blood in that house, this is how you could manage that religion very well. Mm. What happened now? When well, you have money in some community, they give you sentence, they give you a basket. Mm. By the time you arrive there, you don't want to do. Mm. Because you are not brought up from that uh, family of the Obashi. You'll be, you know, do a lot of things. People will be asking, is there this advice in the Oba? What was mm -hmm. it doing? Does it have the culture of the Oba? Mm -hmm. Are you getting the point? Because there's no blah, blah. You have to be, you know, if you are from the royal home, you have to be groomed from age one, two, three, four, until you are about 40. Mm -hmm. But if you are not from there, you just come from nowhere. If you have fed that truth. Two, your question. The constitutional rule. We have been clamoring for it for almost 30 years now. Mm. That uh, we have to hide our role in government. Mm. The state government, even from the local government, state government, and the federal, federal government. So, for instance, look at what happened for this as I'm coming. I just want to mm. tell you something. Because people don't know their role, that's why they, they don't know their approach, they will keep to the problems. Mm -hmm. They are afraid for, God, for them not to offend, offend the, the government or the governor. They, I didn't mean they have constitutional role. They know what to do. They don't have to arrest the problem. Although some of us know our, our role. For mm -hmm. me, in my domain, I get rid of it that the rulers are coming to me and the answers. Mm -hmm. What I did was I like, said, we need to advise some of the monarch to be very close to the youth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm very close to my youth. The male and female, the valet and the chief, at least quarterly meeting with them. Mm -hmm. I hope I'm. Yes, yeah, yeah, right, right. So, Oba, um, you know, sometimes you, you started off by saying mm. that people don't even know how to greet yes. the Oba. And um, I have to, I'm, I'm guilty. I mean, when I saw you today, I almost fell flat on my face. But yeah. I didn't know the words to say to you. But, yeah. you know, looking at you, I knew that this was someone to be revered. Yeah. What do you think, you know, the council of others should do concerning educating? Because not everyone has access mm -hmm. to learning this thing. Like maybe pay, make it part of the school curriculum. Mm -hmm. Teach us how to understand culture, respect culture, and revere our elders and our others when we see them. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to explain. Huh? Mm. First and foremost, before your subject can respect you, because if your subject is not respect you, there's no how the outside world yes. can respect you. Number one thing you're supposed to do is to have political meeting, like quarterly meeting, mm. with your youth, with your ballet, with your chief. You have to embrace them. When you embrace them, they are the ones that are going to propagate you. They are going to, going to popularize, I mean, publicize your name, that you have a very good job, well polished, well educated, he, he, he likes us and we like him. That is it. That is number one. Number two, you should not see yourself as a lord of the Lord mm. to your subjects. <clears throat> you have to be very close to them. You have to be very close to you. And I'm trying to explain something to you. I know maybe I don't know. For what happened in my domain during the time of this uh, exercise. Mm. Because of my closeness with my subject and the youth, what they did to me, and I've won it every night, they come to me. And there was a problem somewhere in Octavia, they have burning houses, they have burning cars, they don't, they do that. So I said, wow, what is this? They said, that's why we come to you. There were about uh, 20 of them, they said they were the, you know, they were in some place for about 30 kilometers to me. I said, what do you want me to do? They say, oh, I can't see you. you. have to see us now. Hmm. You know, for, for anything you tell us, we will do it. We will obey you. Hmm. I said, okay. Well, uh, I want you to go and convert. Go and hold your meeting and come back. They came back to me. They said, ah, come see. You know what you want now. <laughs> <laughs> you got it now. Before they said that, I understood what they said, what they meant. Hmm. I said, okay, I just entered my room. I came out. Hmm. 
I didn't come down to with a knife or anything. I went <laughs> to my room. I came out to them. Take, take. Go and give it to them. That is, I bought rice. I bought, you know, uh, cow. Mm. Give them money. I don't want a size in my domain right. in the Niger. You know, they went back. Right. The cabbie said he doesn't want two people. He knows our father. You were amongst mm -hmm. the cabbieses that saw the president recently. Mm -hmm. You saw him. Mm -hmm. um, I would like you to share your experience at that meeting with Nigerians because many Nigerians feel totally disconnected with our president, especially for the three farmers who were recently beheaded. And we've not heard him speak to us mm -hmm. about it, the president. He has not spoken to Nigerians about it. We feel he's totally not. We, 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 there's a sense of disin disinterest. From coming from his, his own side, since you've met with him, what is the posture of the president? What exactly are his plans? What, how does he plan to engage you? What did he say? Let us know. Maybe you can speak to us to understand the thinking of our president at this time. Yes, very good question. The president has spoke to us. You know, when the NSAS started, mm. before they were love a jacket mm. and the war people. Governor have been talking, Mr. Mm -hmm. have been talking, Bailey have been talking, Chief have been talking, Cabinet have been talking. The day President came out that that this thing must end. Mm. We don't want it to happen again. That was the day they stopped it. The day they announced, and the, the following day, that was the end of SAS, where they don't burn houses, they don't do anything. I'm just trying to remind you, man. Mm. Now, after that, we went to Abuja to meet, we met with him. What we heard from him is very encouraging. And he told us that, well, whatever the youth asked, requesting for a stay, he's trying to give it to them. That's what he said. He said he's going to give it to them. And they, they, were, they were planning it now. It's part of what we came for. That was about two weeks in Lagos State here with some governors, some sisters of the urban from the from the southwest here, myself as a mother vice. The governor is, I mean, the president is doing a lot of things now because we had a meeting twice with him. And he promised that he's going to satisfy Nigeria, the youth. And he said, good, and he will do it. Ah, okay, so. Yes. <laughs> we're going to take it for that. Yeah. <laughs> because we don't feel yeah, it. We don't feel it. <laughs> <laughs> it's only you he told us. He hasn't told yeah, us. He will do it. We're going to break. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks. We still have KBSC here with us. Um, so let me, sir. Culture. Let's go into culture. We've been talking about insecurity for a while. I mean, before the wow. show, before the break, actually, we're talking about our, our president's speech. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Let me let you go. Okay. Um, I just wanted to go to insecurity as well. And for me, is um, a lot of the times when we hear the military talk about what is happening, they say that it has to do with grassroots intelligence. Um, they have to do it at the grassroots level to fight this war. And I'm wondering what you think about that. Is it really a problem from the grassroots, or could it just be that someone is trying to pass the buck? Now, the, the surgery in Nigeria is not like the regular war. It's what we call a guerrilla war. It's like guerrilla war because the, 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 the human beings you are fighting with, you didn't see them physically. Yeah. And in any guerrilla war like that, it, it takes time. If it is a regular war, you could fight it within two, three years, finish. But any other war like that, uh, guerrilla, uh, regular war, if it is guerrilla war, it can be on, on and on for 30 years. If you don't manage it, that was exactly what is happening in Nigeria. The grassroots, they really tried. If you look at what happened in uh, well, no, of recent killings of people, they've been killing them like that. They are trying to help the military. Well, I want to tell you now that they are civilians, they didn't have weapons, mm. but like the military. They have to suffer for it. That was what is happening. For me, I think uh, the soldier 
the late ride. Because it's not when you carry a gun in a normal way, you can talk, you can be laughing with it. But in a war, in a regular war, for you to shoot a gun, you'll be very careful because your enemy could get you before you shot at them. So that was exactly what happened. So, I think what you could do is for everybody to come together. Hmm. Sir, Kabesi. Yes. Nigerians are not happy that there are constant meetings. You just see all the obas, mm. all the governors, mm. chief of Pinikon, all of them sit down, discuss, yeah. to discuss it's something they've discussed before and repeating to themselves what they've already discussed before. Mm. And it's as if we're not really going forward, sir. We are worried that we're not seeing activity. Nigerians had initially called for the sack of the service chiefs. Mm. They even asked for the resignation of the presidency. Mm -hmm. The minister of culture was saying mm. that, how would you say that, that this is, you know, that it is wrong for you to ask for that kind of request. Nigerians want to see that something is being done because you cannot keep winning the battle using the same strategic um, um, techniques. You need mm. something new. So mm. you speak to the, the president, you speak to all the service. You, mm. do, you, do, you, do you have that confidence? that they are actually working in our interest. Especially that's really, that's the question, yes. Based on what happened in, within Undo states where yes. uh, uh, Anoba got yes. killed, yes. you would, yes. you you would even, it, it, would, it, it makes, it makes it, it makes, uh, I feel like it should bring it more to your, your doorstep that mm -hmm. if Anoba within my state could mm -hmm. get killed, that means mm -hmm. the state of insecurity has really increased. Okay, uh, it's much unfortunate. Only four that they, they occur in the industry. It's very, very brilliant over because I'm the chairman of the Council of Oba. We felt bad, honestly. But uh, uh, nobody could blame even the governor of the state or Oba because uh, such a thing comes once in a while. Hmm. We didn't like it. Nobody likes it. Nobody likes it at all. But uh, what we are trying to do now is to buckle up again. To make sure that uh, what we are doing about security is not enough. Mm. The Obas, the government of Ondo State, government of Nigeria, we have to buckle up and make sure that we change our orientation, the way we faced it before. We have to be very, what would you very. Is the best ma, to ma, buckle up. Yeah, the buckle up is I tell you, what I'm trying to. What I meant by say buckle up is it's very simple. They have to look for security for each one of the Obas. I give them security. Mm. Maybe police, uh, you know, civil defense, whatever, whatever they can give us to support us. Mm. That was exactly yes, what I'm you okay. I'm Amateku, what, yes, I'm a teku, yes. What's Amateku doing in your room? I'm a teku, they are doing very well. Okay. Anywhere the police cannot step into. I'm a teku, go there, fix them out. Mm. Okay. That was exactly what happened. You have to be collaboration. You have to come together and protect our interests. Nobody's island of knowledge, nobody's island of security, we have to come together. When we mm. come together, we we'll mm. freeze them up. Mm. Yes, Are there the... any landmark projects that you have carried out in your term as OBA that you would like to share with people or any major project that you feel that people need to embrace and replicate? Yeah, let me talk about my local government, my domain, Ubu. As soon as I ascended the, the, the tree of my father, what I did is to group everybody together, I invite you, the elders, and the, everybody. Mm -hmm. First of all, what I did was a scholarship to everybody, mm -hmm. the youth who cannot uh, pay it's their school fees, and give them scholarship. You know, in our place, we don't have anything that fishery. Mm -hmm. I bought nets for a lot of people know for them to go to Atlantic Oceans. Yeah. Uh, some of the people who I look at that want to go for the MSc, mm. I help them in university. Even doctorate, mm. I help them. Because if you don't develop your youth, there's mm. no how you go. Mm. You could mm. move on your community. That's what I did, first mm. and foremost. And I've sold this to everybody in the state at a place who every must look after your youth. Follow that line. Follow yeah. that line. Yeah. And it's working. They were doing it now in this Even the government of industry, that's what they are doing. Okay. Yes. We'll have to wrap up with you, sir. Yes. But then there any other <laughs> message you'd like to give to Nigerians that are watching you this morning, especially concerning insecurity? Um, my message is very simple, particularly for the monarch. 
You know, you know what happened in the states is uh, he, he affected everyone of the other. Even for two days, even though that I can't move, I can't move to anywhere. Mm. I was shocked. Mm. Mm. Because the other is, very, is an important number to me. Mm. Very brilliant, very articulate, mm. well dressed. And then when he spoke, you will like him. Mm. So that's what I miss about him. Mm. Mm. My advice to everybody, not even in the state, they have to look for security for us. Security mm. for the others. So the others. Right. We need securities. And those ones who don't have blue blood, should they step step down? No, they don't. That's I wanted them to step down now. Okay. okay. They should step down. They have to step down because okay. if you don't have blue blood, that's why you see somebody I'm visiting, going mm. to people have to go to some chief have to give their chief tenancy. Mm. It's wrong. I mean, it, it, it waters down the Yeah, it waters down the There are certain say, you know, uh, mm. which we inherited from our father. Mm. You can't go to anybody. So any, whether you have money, you don't have money in the, in the town, you are, you are the subject of the Oba. Mm. You are you're responsible. You, you, for anything you, you have, you have to give it to the Oba. You bow. Mm. But by the time Oba come to your house, to come and beg for money, beg there's for no this. Yeah. The, there's no integrity again. Yes. My mm. advice is for them to stay in there. They are doing mm. Let the people that are rich to come and take safe protection. Safe protection with them. Right. From there, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Yes. It was a pleasure having you, sir. Thank you educated you us a bit more. Yes. That's all we can take on this segment. When we come back, we have another very distinguished guest. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.